Hi there, today I want to talk about control and its relationship with anxiety and how as we move away from control it actually reduces anxiety rather than increases it and that that might not seem quite like that at the moment. So let's just start by talking about control. So the first thing to know about control is that it is an illusion, a complete and utter illusion. On, on a couple of fronts, really. So first of all, you cannot control what is going to happen in the outside world. And of course, when we're talking about anxiety, most of that control is around trying to stop things in the future from happening or create things that we want to happen in the future with the idea that we'll feel OK if we if we get control of that f- from whichever perspective we're looking at it. But have you noticed how it just doesn't work that way and that we can spend a lot of time tangled up in the future trying to work out what kind of things um, we can do to control the future or to control life or to control people or control situations and that we literally cannot do that. It's absolutely exhausted and, and I'm talking here as somebody who I would I would call myself a recovering control freak. I spent a lot of my time trying to control the outside world. Now, here's the thing about control that is even more important than that and why it really is an illusion, is that actually what we're trying to control when we're doing all those things in the outside world is actually our emotional state. We want to feel safe We want to feel secure in ourselves. We want to feel like things are as they are supposed to be with the idea that that is going to make us feel okay. But the thing about that is that that is not the way your experience is created. Your your entire experience is created from the inside out, not from the outside in. So you, in fact, cannot, cannot control your emotional state by fixing things in the outside world. What we're all trying to do there is fix ourselves into a particular emotional state. Let's call that peace, because it's, it's a word I think that most of us can relate to. What we're actually doing is trying to fix in place a particular emotional state. And we're trying to do that by controlling the outside world. And that just is impossible. So that is really helpful to know, I think, that control is an illusion on every single level that you could look at it. It it just is not possible to control things. Now, since I broke my wrist um, a few days ago, I've had to really surrender to that surrender to not being able to control things I actually did it on Saturday evening I did it on Saturday afternoon um, and I ended up in hospital till Saturday evening waiting to get it sorted I'd sprained my left um, wrist my left ankle sorry quite severely and I'd broken my right wrist because I was trying to stop myself from falling and spraining my ankle so I, I'm quite incapacitated at the moment and this is the first day I've managed to get back to my desk Um, A few days after it happened, I've had to rest in bed with my foot elevated most of the time. Now, I remember on on Saturday night when I got home and, and finally got to bed, I didn't sleep very well because my mind was going way ahead to try and work out how I was going to do everything that I want to do over the next few days with one hand. So I'm I'm actually flying to Spain tomorrow on holiday and, and to a conference around this understanding, which I'm really looking forward to. Um, so I in my head, I was trying to remember what the buffet was like at the hotel and whether I could manage to balance my plate on the edge of the buffet areas and load my plate with food that way or whether I'd need Bruce to carry my plate while I put food on it. Or whether he could just do it all and I'll just sit at the table or I follow her. Like I was going through all these different scenarios. And what that the result of that was me just not being able to sleep. In actual fact, you know, part of this releasing control is to see that future me, 
who is going to be in Spain tomorrow, will be able to work that out. Future me has got this covered. Future me doesn't need the interference from the me of now in trying to work all of that out. And when I started to see what my mind was actually doing there, and and it is a normal thing for our minds to do that, by the way, you're not trying to control the mind or to control the thinking. This is just about seeing the utter chaos that our mind can create when it is trying to control things that are not ours to control. Now, when I saw what I was doing there, I very quickly started to feel much more peaceful. And I felt much more connected to this sense of trust. Trust that I will be able to sort those things out when I actually get there. That I don't have to try and control them right now. Now, we're very fortunate as human beings. Because we have this really clever system that has been created to let us know when we are in a state of trying to control things that are not ours to control. And that's the sensations that come up. So we've spoken today a little bit about anxiety, but this is what this is about. That when you feel that anxiety, when you think, oh, the only way to get rid of this anxiety is to control something, in actual fact, the anxiety is just a powerful gift to let you know that you are believing something that is not true. There is something, unconscious or conscious, that you are engaged in, in your mind, that is not true. And I think that is one of our most powerful warning systems. It's like the dashboard light in the car that is there to tell us when things are not going well, when things are going awry. That's what that feeling of anxiety is for. So that's a really powerful thing to see around control and anxiety. Seeing that it is, you know, that the two are really connected. The more we're trying to control, the more we're trying to reduce the anxiety, in actual fact, it's having the reverse effect. Because the mind is caught up in things that are not true. Things about the future. Things about how we're going to sort out the future. All of that kind of stuff is there and it doesn't, you know, it, it, it is not controllable. It's not possible for us to control any of it. But the body, which is very wise in regard to all of this, says you're feeling this discomfort because you are believing something that isn't true. And that when we fall into trusting that when we get to that point in life whatever that point in life is that the future version of us will be able to handle those things because then then they will be present things they will be things that are real assuming any of them actually happen of course which is which is of course (laughs) often not true I'm definitely going to be going to the buffet in the hotel though um you know so I was trying to plan how to manage all of that Um, ahead of time we really don't need to do that and you know this is this is where we can really see the power of the mind because my mind when I have to deal with something in the present moment so like today what I'm dealing with in the present moment is using my mouse with my left hand do you know the hardest part of it is getting the right which is the right click and the left click and what they both do because they just it's all obviously feels completely back to front um I see why people have left-handed mice now for for writing their computers. So today, today's mind, today's powerful mind can work out how to, moment by moment, how to navigate using my computer, getting this screen up to make a video, all of that stuff. That's what my mind is supposed to be doing now. Not trying to control something away off in the future and I think generally when we're trying to control things we are trying to control the future but either way we're trying to control our emotional state and we can't do that with the outside world and to close on this you know the thing I want you to really see is that 
that peace that we're all looking for all the time is actually always there. It, it, it doesn't, it can't get taken away. And that sometimes if we just pause for a moment, when we're caught up in control, we're trying to get rid of anxiety, we're trying to feel better, and we just take a breath, and we just pause and we allow ourselves to settle, we can see that that peace is there already. And there's nothing to do about that. So I hope that's helpful. I hope that gives you a little bit of freedom from needing to control things. And if you want to explore this further, then of course the Thriving Woman approach is a great way to do that. So take care. Lots of love and uh, please keep watching and listening. Thank you.